Hello there, how are you? Welcome back to How I Did It. Today's video is twofold. Fixing my compressor starter relay and the best hack for cleaning your refrigerator coils. And this video is going to show you how I did it. Here's what I used. And the hack you see is right here. I am not going to make you wait until the end. You take your vacuum cleaner tool. You tape a straw onto the end of it. I just use clear packing tape. You put that on the end of your vacuum, and oh my goodness, it works so great to reach in all those little nooks and crannies. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is unplug your refrigerator, pull it out, and remove the little cardboard cover on the back. Now, while I was initially vacuuming this about a week before, the starter relay on my refrigerator, you can see it right here. I'm getting ready to point to it. It was overheating and you could hear the refrigerator trying to click in and out and it wouldn't cycle on then it finally come on so when I was vacuuming it out I noticed that this part was bad so a pair of needle nose pliers undoes this metal clip that goes around it and you go ahead and you'll just patiently wiggle it back and forth you'll get it to either um, release by itself or it'll have the other part that just plugs into the compressor as well and again I let this go for a little while just to show you struggling with me and I edited it now it, it took me a couple minutes to get it around stuff to where I didn't bend any wires bend any of the uh, copper palming and, and whatnot that was in there but eventually I do get this little bugger out and as you can see it is just pretty pretty melted um, it was really overheating and like I said it would try to cycle on several times and then it would finally kick in it just so happened that when I was under there vacuuming it I knew it was bad so I ordered me a new part I will list where I got my part from in the description below gave everything a good wipe off and then it just goes back on one way. You just plug it in and it's got that top pin right there that lines it up. Press it down and that's it. Now you gotta be able to finesse it back in there. It actually finessed in easier. And you can see um, taking your time, not over rushing it. Three pins hold it. You just plug it back in and then that metal clip that we took off with the pliers needle nose pliers just put that back on it just holds it in place and there we go brand spanking new that saved me a few dollars all right now to get on to the best refrigerator hack there is oh yeah I did plug it in to make sure it works <laughs> okay if you watch this straw in action, oh my goodness, it is just so awesome. It will grab anything and everything. Watch the hair at the back. <laughs> Sucked it right up. This thing just works absolutely fantastic. Now, this is a regular size straw. You get one of those longer straws from, say, 7-Eleven or wherever, and it's going to reach even further. And there's an after. Look how clean. Look how pretty. Now I'm going to have to go ahead and just put this cover back on the back. That's where that quarter inch nut driver comes from. And then we're going to go around to the front. You're going to just pump the, pop that little kick plate off so you can get to the front of these coils and give them a good little vacuuming. Again, this is just the redundancy. It's just showing how fantastic this hack works getting up underneath there and getting to your coils. It just, oh, fantastic and it absolutely saves you so much time. I think the longest time involved was uh, getting this stupid little kick plate put back on the front. Anyway, I will see you all next week for a new episode of Off Grid Barn, How I Did It. Have a blessed day. Enjoy the hack. It is fantastic.